Good morning everybody. This is Arizona Off Grid Unplugged. Um, this video is going to be about how much we spent on everything that we have here on the property. Um, we just got the property surveyed, which is not going to be part of the total. But uh, we did it because we wanted to make sure we put the cabin far enough on our property that wasn't going to be a problem. Um, here's the first corner stake. Um, you saw the road that I was just on. Um, but this is the first corner stake. And I'm going to take you on a little walking tour. Right through there is the next corner stake. And that's actually, let's see, right there was where we were going to put the cabin. And that's in relation to the trailer that we have. So there's the trailer. Cabin's going to go right there. And our property line is right here. Um, like I said, uh, we had it surveyed to make sure that we had enough room between the edge of the house, or the cabin I should say, and the property line. And fortunately it works out perfectly. We needed 15 feet and we have 21 feet. And we're going to put the cabin right here in this little Oops, a little blank area right here around the corner, facing out that way. And the corner of it, the southwest corner was going to be right here at the Sacatillo. It was going to come right up to here and then go that way. So, and then the property line, stupid cow's already knocked over one of the stakes, but that little pink thing in the, in the ground is right where the rebar stake is pounded. And then up ahead you can see the next stake. Um, every time I get to a stake I'll turn and look back at the house. But this is a 1.37 acres that we got. Um, I actually got it as the first um, price tag in our list of things that we bought to get the property. I got this for $1,000. It was a hell of a deal. That's why I couldn't turn it down. I love the area. I love the property. And here's the second stake. And there's the trailer. And I said the cabin's going to go right there. So but I just kept looking on Craigslist. Looking all over the state of Arizona. And I almost bought a couple properties that were nowhere close to anything I wanted. But it's like, you know, I'm not going to have that much of a choice with the kind of money I wanted to spend. And I had a budget of about $2,500 for about an acre, acre and a half, whatever I could get. And then I came across this one. Guy was moving to Thailand. He needed to sell the property fast. He was trying to sell his house. Here's the corner of the property. So he was asking $1,250 and I offered $1,000 and he took it. And he's already living in Thailand now. So and it's all been recorded and everything else. I'm the actual honest to goodness property owner. Like I said, I got this for $1,000. So, and I mean, I love this kind of scenery, this kind of terrain. You know, so. I'm kind of surprised that most of this wash is on my property. I really didn't think it was. So, I was thinking I was going to have to kind of steal the water from it because it wouldn't have been on my property but as you can see the wash is over there and my property line comes all the way over to here. Let's see if we can see the trailer from this place. Oh barely. It's right back there. But uh, I figure I just dam this place up a little bit whenever it's going to rain. It tried raining yesterday but it dissipated right before it got here. Um, and there's the next stake. Um, as you can see, most of the wash is on my property. Um, I get up this next stake. We've been finding quite a bit of quartz on the property. And we've been digging it up and busting it up and looking for gold. We've actually found quite a bit. Quite a bit, maybe a hundred dollars worth. But we got tired of busting up rocks. And we had a guy come out here the other day and say, oh yeah, you got lots of black sand. 
Well, down there in the wash, I don't know if that's black sand or not. I don't know if it would actually sit up there on top of the wash, but we're going to try that too. Anyway, here's the next stake, and there's the trailer right over there. So, and this little corner of the wash right up ahead is just out off of my property line. Um, And it's kind of funny, this next stake is actually a foot on the other side of the that guy's fence that he put up here. <laughs> so, I think he had a buddy come out who was a surveyor who surveyed this, because he got it wrong. <laughs> we paid good money to have it done, so I'm assuming it's right. And that's what, this is the other property corner, and there's the trailer again over there. Um, I said all this wash right here is on our property, and there's the other stake I was just at. And you gotta climb up this little hill. But this little tributary of the wash has quite a bit of quartz in it too. So not as much as the other one did that I pointed out. And uh I know I've mentioned it before, but we got that trailer for $800. So now our total is up to 1800 bucks for the land and the property. And as you can see, the stake is on the, the property line and their fence is now two feet over. So, it wasn't done a lot well, I don't think. But, uh, and then uh, we have just barely over $500 in the awning. It was uh, 17 panels, or yeah, 17 panels at, I think they're $18 each. So it come to about 260, 270 for the panels and a gallon or so of paint to paint everything. Um, I did hire a buddy to come out and dig the holes to put those supports in. So, that's another hundred bucks, but that's not part of our total. I'm not figuring anyway. But then as you can see, this corner is about five feet away from where the fence is. You can barely even see that stick. Huh. There it is. But there's the neighbor's house. Trailer or whatever. There's the property line. And there's our place again. Alright, and then now from this is another corner. So, walking back this way. All this. So 1.37 acres. Beautiful. I love it out here. It's so beautiful. So peaceful. It was a little warm last night. We didn't turn the air conditioner on. We just spent $200 on the air conditioner. So that's part of it. Another $150 on a 2,000 watt generator. That's part of it. There's the other property line and there's the house. And this is actually a little closer to where I got the house than where I had thought the property line was. There's a little red flag on that uh, choya right there. That was about where I thought the property was. It's actually about 10 or 15 feet over this way. And this is supposed to be an easement area. So the property line is right here. And it's 15 feet on either side is where the easement area is. Well, our driveway is within 15 feet. So I don't know if that'll ever be a problem or not. I think we got a sick cow. You probably couldn't hear that. Um, but somebody was commenting on, oh my God, don't kill all those prickly pear. You can eat them. Now, if you look around, you can see that I could eat 10 pounds every day and not have to worry about running out of prickly pear. And this is just on the adjacent property. Still have quite a bit on my property. I just like to be able to walk around through it. And here's the other corner, and this is a, 
a cul-de-sac right here. We ended the cul-de-sac. So our property kind of angles around that way a little bit and ends up over there. And there's the house from this property stake. And there's the burn pit I put. It's actually closer to the middle of the, the cul-de-sac than what I originally thought. I thought it was going to be on like the, the curb of the cul-de-sac, but oh well. It, are, it is where it are. And you can see I still got lots of prickly pear. And uh, I did, sp uh, I had a guy come out and quote me on what it was going to cost to come out and dig all the prickly pear out so I could put this driveway in. And it was like $1,200. I said, you're nuts. So naturally I didn't hire him. I came out and did it myself when I had a full-blown flu going on and it took me three and a half hours by myself. And he was going to bring out a couple guys and he thought it was going to take him eight hours to do it. I had to dig up all this prickly pear, mainly so when they were bringing the trailer out, the guy could drive up down the road, turn onto the driveway, pull it into here, pull forward, back the trailer up, and then be able to get out of here. So that's that was a lot of a lot of digging, lots of cussing and swearing, of course. But uh on that very, very, very first video I ever took, you just barely see this Palo Verde out of the corner of the frame. That's where I said I was going to put the house. The cabin at the time is what I was going to put. Well, we ended up putting it, the trailer right here, so I think it works very well. And again, this is where we had to dig out the, all the prickly pear. So the, because the guy wasn't going to haul a trailer in here if you had to drive over prickly pear. They're all worried about their tires. So, and that little stake right there with the cup on it, that's the corner I started on. So all this that you see in the frame, it's all my property. And again, that's where we're going to put the cabin. So, but the, up on top of the swamp cooler is our solar panel. That and a charge controller and all the wiring and the mounting brackets and everything else is 180 bucks. I've got the the bricks on there for the burn pit. Some of the bricks are the cinder blocks we used to level a trailer, and all the bricks for the fire pit are part of the the total for what it is got spent on this place so far. Um, you know, I had all the prickly pear chopped up out of here. Some of them still need to be moved. That was another time my buddy came out and worked on the property for us. And here's the awning. I've never actually showed you from underneath it. I said I'm not, not the best carpenter or not a carpenter in any way, shape, or form. But uh, this is the way it came out. It's held up very well so far. I've been here through some hellacious winds. Um, and then on the very first video I had, I showed you, I came up to about this point right here and pointed this way and there was a, that barrel cactus and a big pack rat's nest right there. And I said, well, this is going to be about where the south wall of the trailer is. Well, or the, at the time, the cabin. So we got that right where I said I wanted it. Yeah, I mean, look at all this prickly pear. This is all what you see right here is on my property. Now, all these prickly pear are kind of dehydrated because it's been somewhat of a drought around here um, but I got tons and tons and tons of prickly pear to eat and then you go over there to the next property there's lots more there's lots more over there I mean this place is just loaded with prickly pear so I'm not worried about not having enough if I just throw a bunch of it away um, and there's the wash right down there like I said, I'm going to suck some of the water out of it if it ever rains enough to get any water in it. Looks like it does sometimes, but you never know. Um, but there's home. And like I said, I got that 2,000 watt generator in there. And all the furniture is included. Anyway, we did this all for just, just over $4,000. To 
depending on what all it is you want to add into it. If you even figure in the, the three times I had my buddy come out for a hundred bucks a day, it's still right just less than five thousand dollars for everything. Everything. That maybe even including our Thrive Life foods. So